A lot of chefs and professional kitchens have something called the combi oven. And the combi oven is essentially a steam oven that uses dry heat and moisture at the same time. You can just steam if you want, you can just bake if you want, and then you can combine those. So it's something that I use a lot in my kitchens. And the problem is, is that it's super, super expensive. I bought mine used and it was like 20 grand. I know. So I've always been very curious about these countertop at home combi ovens. Today we are testing the Sharp countertop steam oven, but we're also gonna compare it with regular steam and just regular oven, just so you can see and compare the different results. This thing, if it could do anything close to the commercial type, then you got yourself something really amazing that can really diversify your cooking. The first thing we're gonna do is cook some taro. Taro is a root vegetable that is used a lot in Asian cooking and it just takes forever to cook. We have three pieces of taro root, about the same size, and we will put one in the combi, one in the steamer, and one in the oven and time it for 30 minutes and take a look at the results. I don't expect it to be fully cooked at 30 minutes, we just wanna see how far along it went. There's this little like water tank on the side and this is gonna be where the steam comes out of the oven, okay? So we filled that up, that's in. We're gonna bake at 350. Put the timer on for 30 minutes. And before we press start, obviously we wanna start everything at the same time. And the great thing about this is there is no preheating. Throw one in the oven. And the steamer, that's on high. So there's a minute left on the clock and I'm just gonna take a peek at the water level and it's almost all evaporated. Yet I don't see any steam in here. That does mean that the steam, it did evaporate into the oven. All right, so time's done. We're gonna pull everything out right now. I expect steam. Okay, there's some. So we're gonna pull this out. Results, results, results. We'll cut it open and see, starting with the oven. All right, you can tell that it is super dry. The middle is completely raw. Moving on to our steamer. From the steamer, you can tell that it has cooked a little bit longer, so I would say maybe about 15 more minutes and this would have been done. I knew it. I was right about being skeptical. Similar to oven, but it's, it's still a little bit more moist than the dry heat from the oven. It looks very different than the dried out taro from the oven. Combination cooking is supposed to be the quickest way of cooking. For this specific test, it is maybe slightly better than the oven because the oven was too dry for the taro, but yet it was not as quick as the steaming method. So we're gonna try a few more tests. Protein is one of my favorite things to cook in the combi oven. It keeps it incredibly moist and it's super, super fast. The chicken breast, I would say, is the true test. We're not judging this on time. It's really what makes the best chicken breast. The reason it works better with protein when you're cooking in this combi method is that the air around the oven gets super thick and dense that it traps the moisture inside the protein. Okay guys, we're gonna pull these at 160. Looks like my steamer is the quickest. Gonna pull this. It's been like half an hour, so we will tempt this. Let me just say that the protein, I think, this one worked a lot better than the taro root. Still a little under, so we'll put it back in. And we'll put it in for another 10. Yeah, needs a little bit more time. Okay guys, pulling chicken. Ooh, this looks amazing actually. Protein was a good test. I love the way the steam oven chicken looks. I mean, it's evenly browned. It looks super moist, especially compared to the oven one, which is like very blotchy and uneven. And then obviously the steamed chicken is just steamed chicken. So I'm just gonna cut all of them first and then we can sort of compare. Also, we gotta compare it with like the skin. Actually, the steam oven skin is more crispy than the actual oven. Tastes right in the middle. Obviously, it's really juicy. The oven roasted chicken is definitely a lot tougher and drier than the steamer chicken because the steam is obviously straight up moisture. Wow. Very similar product with the steam oven and the oven. But if I had to be really picky, 
The steam oven did create like that beautiful, even skin, very golden brown all around, whereas the oven was a little bit like uneven and blotchy. In that sense, the steam oven definitely was the winner. Did a great job cooking the chicken evenly, super moist inside. Obviously, you guys saw the skin is like beautiful and perfect. And now our final test, because why not have another gadget that reheats pizza? We're not gonna steam the pizza. We're just gonna compare it with the regular oven. Will it be the best pizza? There's only one way to find out. Pretty good thing about it is there's no reheating. And guess what? This has a separate setting just for pizza. 400, let's do it at five minutes and see where it gets us. Do I think this is gonna work? I'm sure it will work, of course it will work. But it's just like, do you really need another gadget to heat up pizza? It would have to be better than when it came out the first time. That's the only way I can justify the price point. You wanna be able to set the temperature and set the humidity level and just, like maybe I just want humidity. You know, but you can't do that. There's no separate function. Okay, it's been five minutes. There's that, you know, steam. It's a little crispy. There we go. At 400 degrees. I mean, oddly, I think that this is crispier. Time to burn my mouth with some hot pizza. Nothing wrong with that. So I'm gonna taste the tip, and then I'm gonna also taste like the crust side. Cutting into it, I could already tell that the countertop oven is crispier. All right. Not crispy at all. I like my pizza crispy all around. It's New York, so it's not supposed to be super crispy anyway, so we're gonna go with the end and see. No, this is, the oven one is 100% better. When I took it out of the steam oven initially, it seemed crispier, but what happened was when it sat, it kind of got moist and it, it lost its crispiness. Whereas with the oven one, it's definitely drier too, but it's crispy on the bottom. And as it sat, it got crispier. My producer is a pizza snob, and even if he's like right about the steam oven being better, a comparably better product, Honestly, it's it's the same to me. All of these tests, I think it, the difference is so subtle that it doesn't compare with the amount of space this $400 oven is taking. Sadly, it's not as robust as like the real thing. It's just not getting there. It's just a counter, countertop oven to me with a little bit of a thinky steamer thing. Just get a tray of water and put it in your oven. Honestly. If you want to see a combi oven, come visit me at the restaurant. I will bring you downstairs show you the massive $20,000 machine and what it can actually do. Do not buy this thing for $400 because it's just a glorified toaster oven. I think the best thing we tested today is this guy over here, which is super fun and I use this almost on a daily basis. You can steam literally anything, best thing ever. You can go back into the box now, goodbye.